so you mentioned the the Capella Group, which is the brand that you started after you left the Marriott. That's correct. That's correct. Tell us a little bit about the Capella Group, the ultra luxury hotels that you created, and what the differences were with this group versus some of the hotels um, like the Ritz Carlton. Well, uh, when I retired from Ritz Carlton, I retired on a Friday and I told my wife on a Monday I'm going to want to start it again because I could see this ultra luxury demand happening from our customers and I want to do that and I want to be the one of the first ones who really did this and hopefully did it right and I knew the difference is I cannot have large hotels because the ultra luxury customer doesn't like conventions so I knew I have to limit it to about 200 100 rooms if you're in a city like New York, where you have all transients, single customers, you could go higher. It could go maybe up to 200. But since the average stay in a hotel like that is three or four nights, in a 100-room hotel, you would have about 25 people arriving and departing. You can do everything. If you had a 400-room hotels and you have a group checking in with 200 rooms and, and other innovations, you can't do everything. So what we do, is we actually contact the customer before they come and say, what can we do for you when you're here? We are your expert in Singapore, for example. Anything goes, as long as legal, moral, and ethical. Anything goes, we pick you up, we, you have a diet, you have an allergy, we make arrangements in the theater and the museums, everything goes. We are here for you. There's no check-in time, there's no check-out time. Everything goes, we are here for you. And so that is ultra luxury. Of course, the surrounding has to be fitting, except with the understanding that's not seen anymore by that customer as luxury. They're assuming that and they have it at home. We're not giving them anything special, no matter how well we are, uh, we are set up, by how good the marble is, it doesn't matter, they have something better at home. So but the, the meaning to them is, while I'm here, really take care of me the way I want you to take care of, not your rules.